Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome. Today's video is going to be a laundry chat video. Now I've never done one of these videos here over on my channel but I've always watched other people's video of them folding laundry and also talking to you guys. I know some people do like a Q&A or they'll just chit chat about a topic that you guys want to talk about but they're also able to fold clothes so they're able to get a chore done while still talking to you guys. So I thought that was genius. So I have a huge pile of clothes right here. I have my son and my daughter's clothes. So it's a pretty big pile that I need to fold and get done. It's been sitting in the hamper clean for two days now. So I just need to fold it all and finally put it away. But this video is also going to be in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Christy. Her YouTube channel is called Hey Mama. So over here on Christy's channel, which is called Hey Mama, she does a ton of different videos. She does mommy related videos. She also does vlogs. And then she also talks about some adoption and foster care topics. And then she does cleaning and organizing videos, which we all need that motivation at times and she really does some really great cleaning videos over on her channel. If you guys are not familiar with Christy, then you definitely need to head over to her channel. She is an awesome mom. I think she's an amazing woman. She does adoption and she's also a foster mom and it takes a very strong person to be able to do that. I think that is just so awesome that she is doing something so selfless and helping other kids and I know She's adopted a few kids, but she's also a foster parent, so she will take in kids. And I just think that is so amazing. So over on her channel, she does a lot of like foster and adoptive type videos, but she has a lot of other videos on her channel. She does a lot of mommy related videos. She does a lot of cleaning videos. So if you guys are into any of those videos, believe me, you will love her and you will love her channel. She's also going to be doing a laundry chat video. So I'm really interested to see what she's going to be talking about while she's folding her laundry. Please, if you guys are not already familiar with Christy and her channel, head over to her channel and show her some love. Let her know that I sent you. Link to her channel and also her video is going to be down below in my description box. Like I told you guys earlier, she's an amazing woman. You guys will love her. She's super sweet. So please head over to her channel and show her some love. If you guys are coming over from Christy's channel, then hello, welcome. My name is Jillian. I am a stay-at-home mom of two little ones, ages four and five. I am also a mom to a special needs child. My daughter is autistic. So over here on my channel, I do a lot of mommy-related videos, cleaning, organizing, shop with me diy so if you are into any of those types of videos i would love to have you join my youtube family and subscribe so now let's just jump right in to all my laundry and folding it today i'm going to talk to you guys about the time i was almost kidnapped when i was in elementary school i mentioned this in my 30 random facts video and i told you guys i would do a story time on it but i think i'm just going to talk about it now while i'm folding the clothes here so Yes, when I was in elementary school, I believe I was in, I think, fourth grade, me and a friend were almost kidnapped. We were almost kidnapped out of my own driveway. We were playing in, well, actually, we were first playing in the sidewalk in front of my house, and my grandma would always watch us. So my grandma was inside of the house, and she would check out the window every once in a while to see that we were okay and if we were still in the front yard because she told us to stay in the front yard. And then she'd go off and do whatever she needed to do inside of the house. And the neighborhood that we lived in was a really good neighborhood. It was very family oriented. There was never really any type of issues in the community. So it was a very nice community, a very safe community. And like I said, there was a lot of other families that lived in the neighborhood. And back in the day, that's when everyone used to always play outside. When I was a kid, we were rarely ever inside of the house. We were always outside playing, climbing trees, climbing gates, like doing everything. So there was always a ton of kids outside playing. Like I said, I've always played outside. So I spent the majority of my time outside playing, which I wish kids nowadays would do. But I feel like kids barely ever play outside now. But that is besides the point. So we were on the driveway playing and I remember a car drove by our house multiple times. So I remember they drove by at least three times before this incident even happened. So I remember by the third time that they drove by, we thought that was kind of weird. So we were already aware that something was just like off. But again, we were only in fourth grade and we were having fun. I remember she brought her dog over so she had her dog with her. 
So we decided to go into the driveway. Like I said, we were playing in the sidewalk and we decided to just to move up to the driveway just because we thought it was kind of weird that the same car kept on circling, kept on coming back around. So we went into the driveway. I think at that point we probably should have went inside and told my grandma that there was like a creepy car that kept on driving around, but we didn't. We just went in to the driveway and was playing there. Car came back around again and when they came back around, they just kind of like pulled up in front of my house and stopped and it was two guys in the car. They were probably in like their late 20s, early 30s, I would say. And they stopped in front of our house and they pulled down the window and they told us to come over to the car if they wanted to ask us a question and we told them no my mom has always taught me never to talk to strangers never to get into a car with a stranger if anyone were to ever come up to me even if they knew my name they told me to get in the car that my mom told me that I can go with them to never um you know go with strangers so I already knew never to talk to a stranger never to get into a car with someone that I did not know so we didn't know these guys we told the guys no like we shook our head no and they kept on telling us to come to the car to talk to them and we kept on saying no and again we probably should have ran inside at this point but we didn't we stood outside so after we told them no multiple times they ended up driving up into um my driveway they like backed up and then sped up really fast into the driveway and there was one guy driving and then there was a guy in the passenger seat and the guy in the passenger seat hopped out of the car again and tried to tell us to come to the car because they want to ask us a question and again we told them no and when we told them no the guy in the passenger seat who was already out of the car he like came towards us like jumped towards us and grabbed both of our arms and started pulling us to get us into the car he had opened the back door to the car and he was yanking us to try to get us in the car so we both we just started screaming as loud as we can and I remember her dog was going crazy. Her dog was barking and jumping on this guy. And the guy did not care that the dog was, the dog wasn't attacking him. It was still a puppy, I remember. But the dog was pretty loud jumping on him and barking. And the guy did not care. And he was yanking our arms, trying to get us into the car. And I should have thrown my potty on the floor. I remember my mom used to tell me if anyone tries to kidnap me or take me um, to scream, bite, kick, you know, if there's someone outside, start screaming that they're not your mom, they're not your dad, and to throw my body on the floor. I remember I didn't throw my body on the floor, but while he was yanking my arm trying to get me into the car, I remember I was pulling back. So I was kind of like in a squatting position while he was trying to pull me and yank me into the car. And we were just screaming as loud as I can. I remember I was screaming as loud as I can. She was screaming as loud as she can. And then um, my grandma heard us screaming. So when she heard us screaming, she came outside to see what was wrong and she saw the guys in the driveway trying to get us and she started screaming and she ran towards the driveway to where the guys were trying to get us in the car and as soon as they saw my grandmother they obviously stopped the guy hopped he closed the back door and then he hopped into the car and they sped off then my grandma obviously made us go inside and we had to call the cops and i remember the cops came and they took down a report and they asked us a million questions and I remember being so nervous and scared to talk to the cops even though we weren't in trouble we didn't do anything wrong for some reason I was just really scared talking to the cop and I remember they were asking us if we knew how old they were how tall um their race what color hair do they have eyes and I remember we I don't know if it was because we were nervous or what but we really couldn't give them a really good description like we told them that they were guys and that they were tall and had dark hair but we couldn't really explain too much about them i remember someone came to my grandmother's house and was doing like a sketch of the person who tried to take us um and then i remember it was a burgundy four-door car so we told them that it was a burgundy four-door car and then they tried to ask us what like model it was and i'm in fourth grade i was in fourth grade we didn't know what kind of car it was so we couldn't tell them the model of the car and i don't think my grandma was able to get the model of the car either but we were able to tell them that it was a um burgundy four-door car so i remember my neighbor who lived in front of us found out what happened when he saw the cop cars at our house he came over and he took me and my friend in his car we're driving around the neighborhood to see if we could see the car or see if like 
the person lived in our neighborhood or even a neighborhood over. So we drove over to the other neighborhood. We're driving around. We couldn't find the car. Then he just started asking us, okay, well, let's try to look for a car that looks like the one that tried to take you just so they can try to get like a model of the car. Um, so we did that for a while. Then we went back. The police got the reports and then they left. And then a, a few days later, we were contacted by the police that the guys ended up getting caught. Um, they weren't caught the same day. They were caught a few days later because the guys who tried to kidnap us decided to go to the neighborhood next door. I don't know why they would do that, but they went to the neighborhood that was next to my neighborhood and they tried to kidnap another little girl. I believe the little girl that they tried to kidnap was younger than us. I know she was in elementary school as well, but I think she was like... In second or third grade i do remember her um being younger he tried to kidnap another little girl in the neighborhood next to us and when he did that attempting kidnapping um then they were caught and they were arrested so yeah that is my story of almost being kidnapped um i'm so glad that my mom has always taught me and my sister never to get in a car with a stranger never to talk to strangers because I was always really friendly like my sister was more of like the shy one I've always been like a very friendly kid and even as an adult I can get shy but I'm mostly friendly so I think if my mom would have <clears throat> never told you know me that not to talk to strangers or get in a car I probably would have went with a guy but my mom taught me not to ever go with anyone that I don't know so I did not get in the car with him my friend didn't get in the car with him and it's pretty scary to think that even playing in your own driveway you can be kidnapped and I always would think that what if me and my friend were kidnapped what would have happened to us like and I always think about like if they were able to kidnap us and they were successful what would have happened to us like would we have escaped or would they have tortured us I don't know I think about all the things that could have went wrong but I am extremely grateful and thankful that we were not kidnapped at the end of the day we were able to escape them and we fought we screamed and we were not letting them get us in that car without a fight. So yeah, that is my story about almost being kidnapped when I was in elementary school, fourth grade. It was definitely a scary moment that I hope my kids or no one else's kid ever has to go through because after that for a very long time, my mom said that I did not want to play outside. Obviously my mom didn't even want me playing outside anymore alone at all anymore. So she never let us outside anymore like alone after that. But even like my mom was outside, she said that I would always be like really nervous to like kind of like wander off and play. I would always want to be like right next to her because I was thinking that someone was going to kidnap me again. So it took a while to be able to actually and be a kid and enjoy myself and go off and play without thinking that every guy that walked by me was going to try to kidnap me. So that is my story of when I was in fourth grade and I almost got kidnapped. I hope you guys enjoyed today's laundry chat with me. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Also comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to do more laundry chats where I fold my laundry and I also talk to you guys about a topic. Maybe next time if I decide to do it again, we can do like a Q&A where I will ask you guys questions either here on YouTube or over on Instagram and then I can answer them on a laundry chat. So just let me know if that will be something that you will be interested in and I will definitely try to film that for you guys soon. And also remember to head over to my friend Christy's channel and see what she decides to talk to you guys about in her laundry chat video. I know I'm excited to see what she is going to talk about because I love these laundry chat videos. I think they're so cool. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button, subscribe. Also turn on your notification bell so you will be notified anytime I do upload a new video. I try to upload at least three times a week. So definitely remember to turn on that bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.